Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So in today's video, I want to cover Split, which uh, has been brought to my attention. And I think it is still quite early. So I think it could be a good time to uh, research out a bit more and hopefully participate. The nice thing is that the whitelisting is actually currently open. If you go to their website, whitelist, uh, then you just uh, fill in all your information here your email, full name, uh, Telegram, Twitter, purpose of reaching out. Uh, and as I said in my other video on how to find pre-sales early and how to get the pre-sales, as you can see, how to add value. So uh, I think it's really important to build up your following, build up your Twitter, try and add some value in any way you can, because that's how you will be able to get into these rounds. And as you can see, uh, 5K seems to be the minimum. So just keep that in mind. But uh, as usual, always fill it in, uh, you know, if you get selected, then that's good. <laughs> if not, um, that's not pro. And if you get selected, you can always decide if you want to invest or not. So let's go through their website, see what uh, Split is about. So the next gen e-commerce supply chain powered by Polkadot. So pro that is powered by Polkadot. Obviously, it starts off on Ethereum uh, since they can't launch on Polkadot yet. But once uh, Polkadot is up and running, they're going to migrate to that. So about Split. Split bridges the gap between brands and consumers in a rapidly changing climate. We turn the marketing power of e-commerce into revenue for affiliates plus brands. We empower brands to grow sustainably by removing rent-seeking intermediaries. So what I find actually really impressive about them is that they started in 2016. So they've been around for five years now. And they've been busy throughout 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. And now they're finally launching. So that gives you some reassurance. You know, they're serious about what they're doing. And it could be a potentially big idea. So if we go uh, down to the homepage, you can see they've actually got the uh, DAP uh, live on testnet. So, you know, they've got a product up and running. That's always pro. Then uh, what they're going to have is shoppable NFT catalog so split i think it's split or splite uh, simplifies the e-commerce supply chain by assigning unique e nfts uh, to every inventory item functioning similar to a global blockchain sku number brands synchronize the inventory with our plugin app and it automatically is tokenized as an e nft on splite's uh, inventory catalog so as you know nfts are super hot at the moment so that's a pro thing has got going for it they're going to have an nft bounty marketplace so affiliates can select any enft to show as shoppable items on their respective e-commerce sites via their uh, app integrations and brands drop ship to buyers affiliates get paid instantly via blockchain and buyers get the enft as purchase proof of authenticity then off-chain nft DeFi, DeFi pools for collateralized inventory represented on the blockchain as ENFTs and verified via decentralized warehouses. In case of liquidation, Splite will use smart contracts to sell inventory as flash sales using our affiliate marketplace protecting lenders. So overall, I think the idea is quite good. Uh, what I like is that they actually have a partnership with Maison Do. So it's actually got a use case and as it says, it's got traction. Uh, it says Maison do aggregates inventory from all participating brands onto the blockchain to create the next gen digital marketplace for the luxury e-commerce market launching mid 2021 with 2000 plus strong community of brands and e-commerce stores. So I think that's a really bullish fact to, to consider that they've actually got a use case. So another thing I actually wanted to go through on their very impressive white paper, actually, I mean, it's 62 pages, very in depth. So, you know, they've actually... Uh, gone above and beyond with this and they're super serious so what i like to look at is the token incentives like uh, you know why should people buy and hold the token so they're going to have staking rewards which is always good you know that locks away the tokens and can pump the price as it says here um, users can stake and if they stake they're going to have voting rights in the future development and features of their ecosystem and um, people can increase their rewards if they lock their tokens. So the longer you lock them, the more rewards you get. So 12 months 
250% reward, nine months, 190, six months, 150, and three months, 120% reward. So I just wanted to go through that because I think that's uh, quite good for the long-term price. Uh, obviously, the more tokens that's locked away, more gains that can be made with the price going up. So before we get to the team, let's look at their roadmap. So first quarter 2021, they're going to have Shopify integration and mainnet launch. So that's quite the big things coming up for quarter one already. Quarter two, sidechain proof of stake, bridge to Polkadot. Third quarter, WooCommerce integration, decentralized metadata storage. Fourth quarter, GraphQL public API and DeFi marketplace. So that's where the DeFi pools for collateralized inventory represented on the blockchain as ENFTs. So they've got a lot of big things coming up to look forward to that I think can pump the price. Now let's get to the team, public team, of course. Uh, as you know, they've been around since 2016 working on this. Uh, you can click and it takes you to their LinkedIn. So that's always pro. Uh, super bullish. I like it. Advisors as well. They've got, uh, I mean, <laughs> e-commerce director from Pepsi. <laughs> Can't get more bullish than that. So overall team gets a thumbs up. So... I mean, if you, even if you go to their uh, medium, you can see they've got posts here from way back. I mean, uh, 2018, here's some posts. It went a bit quiet, it looks like, from 2019 to 2020. Um, but, I mean, uh, they're back. <laughs> Maybe taking advantage of the bull market, don't blame anyone. But either way, uh, they've been around for a long time, which is good. So now let's get to the most important part, which is the tokenomics. And this is actually a really nice one-pager on the project. Uh, if you want to have a look yourself, I mean, it covers um, a lot of things here. What I find really interesting, like I already covered, the NFT solution is that uh, the purchaser receives the ENFT as a proof of purchase, which I think is a really interesting idea. So this has uh, everything, uh, you know, briefly on the token. But anyways, let's uh, have a look at the tokenomics, which is what I want to look at now. So here's the allocation. Uh, as you can see there, but uh, total tokens, 500 million, hard cap, $2.27 million, and the initial market cap, 835,000. It's about where, you know, all the launches have been, uh, like Bridge Mutual, Butterfly, and, you know, all of those, and they all still pump really well. What I find interesting as well is they haven't announced a public sale yet, but they do say it's 250,000. And it will be interesting to see where they do the public sale, if it will be on Polka Starter. As you know, 250k is about, uh, you know, the recent ones have raised about that much. So if you can get in this earlier than Polka Starter and then it's announced on Polka Starter, that would be huge. Uh, obviously, they haven't said anything about that yet. Um, you, it could launch on the other platforms as well. But anyways, we'll see. So for Seed, the price was 1.5 cents and they raised 500k. Private A uh 2.5 cents they raised seven uh, 750k private b they raised uh 700,000 at 3.5 cents and public sale as i said will be 250,000 at uh 4.2 cents so in terms of the vesting seed is locked for one month so they don't get any tokens at all for the first month and then on their first unlock they get 20 percent and they get it released over uh nine months all their tokens Private sale, they get 20% on launch. Private B, they get 25%. And obviously, public is 100% unlocked. And here's the info on the on the rest. So what I really like is the locks are very big. Um, seed can't sell at all when it's listed. Um, so I think even getting to public sale will be really good. Private A will be as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if those are sold out or not yet. As you know, getting allocation these days is uh, really a nightmare. So in terms of investors and partners, I can't say I've heard of any of these that they partnered with. It's not that many, you know, a lot of the upcoming uh, pre-sales have a lot of investors and partners. Um, I can't really say whether it's better to have more or less. I think the quality is better over the quantity anyways. So overall, uh, I quite like it. The initial market cap's quite low. The idea is quite good. It's still early. So I think my rating these days depends quite a lot on what type of public sale they have. I mean, a Polka starter sale always gets a Chos Pro because you know that's just going to pump. I mean, the marketing it gets from having the sale on Polka starter is just insane. So 
also depends some of the other uh, platforms for uh, public sales are really good so for me i can't rate it a chos pro or becas pro just because it will very much depend on their marketing coming up in the next few weeks or so but overall it's quite pro so for now it gets a quite pro i could update it at a later stage but if i had the chance to invest i probably would as usual remember this isn't investment advice it's just uh, my review hopefully it helps you with your research so yeah definitely go whitelist for it i mean you might as well know how i'm doing it um hopefully you get whitelisted so now it's time for the tinder reviews uh let's see who can guess where i'm swiping from uh leave a comment if you can guess right let's see who can guess it right first but anyways let's see what they have to say first i said to stella is eight hundred thousand us dollar a lot i need to know urgent what is it a lot of money it's relative why are you asking i need to know because of investment it is so that's a bit bearish for splite because the initial market cap is eight hundred thousand dollars anyways next one rosemary what sounds cooler ethereum or polka dot ethereum which is bearish for splite since they're going to be on polka dot but in the beginning you know they're on ethereum so you could see it as bullish for the short term but for long term i think it's a bit bearish then catherine i said uh, can we name our kids splite haha <laughs> why do you think it's a cool name it sounds like a dessert and i said does it sound like a dessert you'd buy if it involves chocolate then yes and i said it provides liquidity is that a yes I'm waiting for the punchline not sure what she means but if the kid went to school where i grew up he'd be split in half for having a name like that so i said crikey that's super bearish for split um so overall the tinder reviews again are a bit bearish i think overall tinder's quite bearish on crypto so i don't know i'll keep asking them anyway so yeah that sums up my video for today hope you guys enjoyed uh leave a like and subscribe join my telegram group and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching